they got them. The parents of the teen accused in the deadly Oxford High School shooting in Michigan that left four students dead, seven injured, have been captured because it was a manhunt once they became fugitives. And they are being held on a $500,000 bond each. That's one million for each one of them. And that is very deserving because they buds don't deserve to go nowhere. All right, Miss Thing, let's make a long story short. Karen McDonald is the state prosecutor that's trying this case, okay? She is the one that charged Ethan Crumble with four counts of felonious activity and decided to also charge the parents with four counts each of involuntary manslaughter because they did not pull the trigger, but they did aid in a bed and they knew that their son was real crazy. So they were supposed to have an arraignment on Friday, which was yesterday. They never showed up, despite everyone saying, oh, they're not going to flee. They're just going upstate, you know, to be safe because everybody in the community hates them as they should. But they never showed up to the arraignment. They missed it. So at that point, you become a fugitive. So the law started looking for them. They were tipped off by someone who saw the Crumbly's car outside of a warehouse and a woman standing next to it that met the description. So police show up. They arrest both of them. The police say... They looked like they were hiding in this warehouse in Detroit, which is 40 miles from Oakland County, Michigan. 40 miles. Y'all could have went 20 miles to the Marriott and got a room on the fourth floor and nobody would have found y'all. I mean, honestly. But they tipped them off. They said, oh, absolutely not, honey. You are in Detroit. You're not supposed to be here. You went to the wrong city, honey. So what they did was they brought them to the courts. They had an arraignment today, and despite the parents' lawyer, Shannon Smith, trying to say, you know, well, we just didn't know exactly what time they were supposed to be here. Smith, girl, save it. She said that they called the offices to, you know, basically ask, you know, about turning themselves in. Girl, you're a lawyer. You know those people don't need no permission. So, McDonald's, the state prosecutor, she called bullshit. She said, you know what, Miss Thing? That's not the truth. They don't need my permission to turn themselves in. They can walk their asses up them stairs to the police department and go into the cell themselves because they know better. But they're running, despite y'all saying that they weren't going to run. So while Smith, the parents lawyer, is saying, oh, well, you know, the bail should be like, you know, between $50,000 and $100,000, give or take. The state said a million for both, half a million each. Sit your asses down because if we let y'all out of here, y'all not coming back. So once they learned that situation, they were taken in, you know, they're all being held. So the entire family nucleus is in jail right now, as they should be, because the parents bought this child a 9mm SP-2022, a SIG sauna or some shit like that. That's how you say it. They bought it as an early Christmas gift on Black Friday, November 26th. First of all, why are you getting your kid an early Christmas gift? Like, like, that's grown stuff to do. Like, oh, babe, I got you a new washer and a dryer. They're installing it tomorrow because who wants their washer and dryer to be installed on Christmas? So it's like, oh, this is an early Christmas gift. Yeah, I got you a car early Christmas. You don't get your kid a gun for Christmas. You'd be like, oh, you can just have it now unless you were trying to aid in a bet. Moving on, you take them to the gun range literally the weekend after you bought it. So you bought it on Black Friday. You practiced how to use it between Saturday and Sunday. Monday, the teachers, which this is where the school is wrong, Monday, the teachers find out that the son is looking on his phone trying to search to buy ammunition. That's the update from yesterday because they just said it was a computer. It was his phone. He was in school. The teacher saw it and gave, mm, let's call mom, tell her what's going on. Mom gets the voicemail from the school saying, your son is trying to buy bullets. And she's like, you know what? Let me text my son. She texts the son, LOL, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn how to not get caught. Again, aiding and abetting, telling the child what you're doing is okay. Just don't get caught next time. Then, because we're at the four-minute mark, then the day of the shooting, which is Tuesday, this all happened from Friday, Saturday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to Tuesday. Tuesday morning, parents get a call. We found Ethan, little Ethan, drawing pictures of himself killing people, saying that his life doesn't matter. The bullets basically say the world is dead. And it's a picture of, you know, a child with two gunshot wounds. So the counselor took a picture of the picture, scooped up the little boy, said, we go to the office. The parents came up to the school. They refused to take the child home. So the child returned back to class. Again, the school, what the, mm, were y'all thinking? by letting this boy go back around other students. Never checked his backpack or nothing. Backpack in, in office. The, 
the little boy could have off the principal and the parents, they could have just all went through the school and just wreaked all kinds of havoc. We don't know what that family could have done, but they're all behind bars now. They all need to be found guilty on all murder counts, manslaughter uh, charges. And yeah, I'm going to continue updating all this story because this is crazy. But, um, oh, I just hope that they find them all guilty. I just hope don't know white mess happen and they get off. We can't handle that. I, America cannot handle that. Not this close to 2020. We got to fix something before we get to 2020. We have to. All right. That's the story. I'm going to keep you all updated. This is nuts. Hopefully, we can close this case soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications. You miss a video. You miss a lot. I do have new vlogs coming up. And let me know what else you all want to see.